Well, across the country, public schools have lost more than one million students since the beginning of the pandemic. That's according to data from the Education Department. And this drop in enrollment has prompted some districts to shut down schools completely. One of those districts is Jefferson County Public Schools in Colorado. And the superintendent, Tracy Dorland, joins me now with more. Superintendent, welcome. So your school board voted to close 16 schools in November. Why did you feel this was the right move? What did these schools actually look like in terms of enrollment? Thank you for having me, Elaine. You know, in Jeffco, we really are focused on providing a thriving school experience for all students which includes an extraordinary student experience and instructional excellence. And what we have found is that when a school becomes so small and the enrollment does not sustain high quality and rigorous programming, we end up with um, an inability to achieve this goal of ensuring that every student comes to school and experiences um, wonderful, wonderful things with a, a team of teachers that are also thriving. And so what we want to do is focus on what we need to provide our students. In the schools that were this small, we were constantly talking about what kids were not receiving. Um, for example, our art, music, and PE teachers were split between two different communities. And we all know and remember the times in elementary school when we had our music program with our beloved music teacher. And when our staff is spread so thin, our students' experience is greatly hindered. We also have combined grade levels where that's not the model. Um, and teachers are being required to teach two different curriculums to very small groups of students. In one of our schools, we had a first grade classroom of five children. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just not leading to an extraordinary student experience. So what happened to all those students and teachers? I mean, where did the students and teachers go? The students, um, you know, uh, we did see a decline during the pandemic, but our height of enrollment was in 2001. And for two decades, we have been seeing declining enrollment. And this is not unlike many districts across the nation. Um, we, most of our schools, about a third of our elementary schools were built during the baby boom. And we are seeing a great number of uh, a, re a reduction in birth rates. According to the 2020 census, we had an increase in overall population in Jefferson County, but we had a decrease of about 30,000 school aged children. Um, and so, you know, we're just seeing fewer students being born mm. and we need to, as a district, respond to that so that we can best serve the students who are here in our community today. So it's just demographics then, Superintendent, that's why enrollment has been down? We believe it's demographics. We also believe that rising housing costs in Jefferson County have contributed somewhat. And then combine that with the ability of some families to work more flexibly, possibly remotely because of changes that have occurred in work environments through the pandemic. And so some families we know um, also just because of uh, data that we track in terms of where students enroll if they do leave us, that there are families who are moving out of our community into areas where housing is more affordable. So uh, you touched on this a moment ago, but is this something you believe that's been driven purely by the pandemic, meaning that public school enrollment could potentially pick back up in the future, or is it too big of an issue with the demographic uh, shifts that you've been talking about, that these kinds of factors are really kind of working together to keep that enrollment down? Yeah, that's a great question, Elaine. And one of the things that we have done in our due diligence with this work is collaborate closely with our state demographer's office. Mm -hmm. And we know from our state what our state demographer is telling us is that because the birth rates are um, have declined so vastly, that we do not expect for the enrollment to come back up anytime soon. Yeah, it's such a confluence of factors, as you know, socioeconomic factors contributing to the declining birth rates, which then in turn the public school system there. Um, we certainly wish you the best. Superintendent Tracy Dorland of Jefferson County, Colorado Schools, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me.